Hey guys, welcome to a demo. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, Wizard of Oz poster. So originally I started um, kind of just like freestyling on this artwork and uh, I kept going after the demo for probably another hour and uh, came up with some, some solutions that I thought were pretty good. So again, to the left you can see the original artwork and then to the right you can see how I've messed with the poster. Again, up top here, I didn't really like this typeface. Uh, this is Bernard MT Condensed. And I ended up going for more of this like script font, which is Alpine Script Regular. Um, just because it looked to have like more of this like whimsical, playful, like handmade feel to it. Um, in the poster as well, Diego Navidad, uh, his name shows up there. So then I added custom poster artwork. That might be something I could uh, include potentially down here in this section. Um, just because there's an empty spot there and that can be a good location for like what I would refer to as like a little nugget, um, a little piece of information just to fill in that space. Um, so Wizard of Oz, I then took this as an opportunity to put in um, <coughs> the playwright as well as the um, musicians who ended up writing uh, the music and lyrics. Um, and you'll notice to create contrast uh, and variation I put uh, by, um, and then I include the name, so I should probably include L, Frank, uh, Baum, Harold, Al Arlen, and then E.Y. Herberg, Herberg, Harberg. Um, I've basically switched those into white just so they have more contrast, and so we can see like who are the names of these people. Um, and I put these kind of like fun shapes behind just to kind of like create that value contrast. If I go into just like outlines view, so control Y for those that remember, you can see that I've actually used the pen tool a bit here and just like quickly like drawn in around the body. I also drew in the space of the sky um, around the clouds with my uh, circle tool. And then I just like freehand these clouds here using the pencil tool. And the main reasons for that is just so I could break up the poster into different sections of color. Um, so I can have different areas to put my type in there. I wanted to maintain the center uh, area um, kind of like clutter free just so we could actually like have just like one visual part of the poster where we could look at something and just say like hey that's kind of a cool image um, that was made. Um, something specific to the event, adults are $8, uh, students and seniors are 6 Notice again I put in these circles um, behind here and if you look at them, like it's a baby blue color, very light blue, and then I put it in the blending mode of overlay. Um, if you go to the transparency icon uh, in the panels on the right, that'll bring open your transparency palette and then you can select all your different blending modes, very similar to Photoshop, in this case it's overlay. What you'll have to do though is you'll have to click on, one, on each one independently um, and you'll see how it kind of interacts with the stuff behind it. So again, this is just a blue, a baby blue circle on top of um, everything else I have in there. And overlay, I think was the one that I had selected. Maybe it was something else. Yeah, overlay. Um, you'll also notice like the clouds right here. Um, this cloud shape, if I take my direct select and pull it away, this is the actual shape. Like you can actually see it there, right? And it doesn't, you know, I was, I was noticing an opportunity for more contrast here. And so I filled it with this like brownish color, um, put it on top of the original image, and then applied the color burn blending mode um, to that. And so you can kind of see it brings out the reds, makes it a little bit more of a punchy image. On top of the body, it's got an overlay, and you can see the shape is actually red. So there's the shape. Um, and it just kind of brings a little bit of that red color into it. Then here's the sky. The sky shape is kind of like a baby blue and it's in overlay. And it just kind of brightens things up, creates an opportunity for more contrast, just so the image um, has a clearer definition of contrast. So side by side, again, I'm just like modifying the colors to just make it a little bit more punchy. Um, Lastly, down below, I've got uh, the different events that are taking place. You'll notice Saturday, April 20th, no shows. Like, 
I changed that one off a straight baseline. I put red behind it and then one of those kind of dark blue shapes behind it as well. Just to kind of like bring attention to the viewer to say like, oh, just by the way, like there's going to be no shows on April 20th. So make sure that you don't uh, come. And then lastly, I kind of like uh, finished the poster with this Santa Paula High School and then Freeman uh, Aiken Auditorium. And that way it's just kind of like, you know, people start to wonder like, where is it going to be? Um, it's going to be at Santa Paula in the auditorium. So I'm going to stop with this demo here, but I just wanted to kind of show um, the setup that I had gone through and how like the original poster and my original demo kind of eventually went towards this direction. And so as a designer, this is where I'd actually like pitch the design to the client and say like, you know, do you like this? Is there anything you want to edit? And then we have a conversation. We make a few changes and then we go to press and print.